I'm storm chaser Reed Timmer chasing this nor'easter from the backside for Radar Omega. I am coming from the southwest to the northeast chasing now the ice storm portion of this uh, nor'easter and right now I'm in Lexington, Virginia where we have a mixture of sleet and freezing rain. You can definitely see the little ice pellets here bouncing off my jacket. Just to the southwest of here, it was pure freezing rain between Marion and the Roanoke area. Very dangerous conditions on I-81. Numerous traffic accidents as well from Marion all the way through the Lexington area. And I am just to the south of that rain snow line. Northern Virginia up in the Winchester area, likely to get hammered with over a foot of snow and even more up north of there in Pennsylvania. Uh, amounts approaching two feet across uh, southern, south central Pennsylvania through northeastern Pennsylvania to southern New York just inland from the I-95 corridor across that higher terrain. But this is the dangerous ice storm portion here. Starting to change over to more sleet as I head to the north. Uh, but here in Lexington, Virginia, it is a sleet and freezing rain mix, definitely accumulating on these roadways. Very slippery road conditions out here. Numerous accidents. Definitely uh, stay indoors, stay off the roads if you can. But certainly if you do have to travel, be sure to bring a winter weather safety kit and certainly keep those speeds slow. Very dangerous out here with this nor'easter. This is extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer from Marion, Virginia, where we already have substantial ice accumulation after a period of freezing rain that continues this morning, coming down, coming down moderately. You can see ice accumulation on all the branches out here, beginning to accumulate on the road surfaces too. You can see ice accumulation substantially covering the grassy surfaces directly next to these roads. You can definitely hear the trees creaking above. And this is right along Highway 81. There's already been accidents so far this morning up and down uh, Interstate 81 here in southwestern Virginia. Power outages are expected, especially to the north and northeast of Marion, where that ice accumulation could exceed a quarter of an inch, uh, especially in uh, central and northern Virginia, banked up just against the Appalachian Mountains. There's a cold air damming event substantially right now with that cold air that is more dense than the warm air 
banked up against the Appalachian Mountains. A warm nose coming in over top of it. That warm nose allows uh, the precipitation to melt back into liquid water. It falls into that sub-freezing layer, freezes on everything on impact here, and the weight of the ice is eventually going to cause power outages here across western Virginia. I'm heading north on Highway 81, and my plan is to cover that snow max uh, in the panhandle of Maryland or West Virginia. But first, as I'm heading southwest to northeast to sample all facets of this nor'easter storm, we have to head through the ice storm portion, and that includes some pretty dangerous slippery roads on Interstate 81 as we progress northward through Virginia. Hazard ahead on I-81 and in 2.2 miles. You're still on the fastest route.
one. This is Extreme Meteorologist Reed Timmer just to the south of Winchester, Virginia, and we have changed over to nearly all snow. It is mixing in with a little bit of sleet here along the I-81 corridor. Road closures as well, just to the south of Winchester. Latest report is that all lanes are closed there of I-81 uh, with some accidents that uh, need to be cleaned up. But right now it is just mixing with a bit of sleet here in Northern Virginia. Likely snowfall totals are gonna be closer, exceeding a foot, especially the greater totals as you get a little bit closer to the Maryland border. And the snowfall is already beginning up near the Pennsylvania, New York border off to the north. The Poconos are starting to get hammered by snow. It just began there. That's likely going to be one of the hardest hit areas with snowfall totals likely even approaching two feet there. Areas from the Poconos off through Hunter Mountain uh, in southern New York, just inland in the higher terrain uh, north of I-95. Uh, but definitely a major nor'easter is happening. There was even a tornado warning earlier just to the south of the New Bern area as that warm sector just barely was able to nose on shore in the North Carolina outer branks. That coastal low is going to turn to the north-northeast and eventually pivot east-northeast. And that pivot uh, just to the northwest of that location is where the bullseye is going to be for this snowstorm. But that's probably going to be in the Poconos there, Scranton down toward Harrisburg to the west of Gettysburg. Here we've already got about three to four inches of snow, though, just to the south of Winchester, despite the mixing in with sleet so far. Stay tuned to the Radar Omega app for those winter weather alerts and my weather reports. Stay safe out there as this nor'easter dominates the northeast. I'm just outside of Hagerstown, Maryland, and the heavy snow has been replaced with freezing rain as a big time dry slot is coming in at the mid-levels of the atmosphere. That's focusing the uh, vertical motion uh, down between about 850 and 700 millibars. That's more of a warm advection regime, and that has replaced those big dendrites that were coming out, for, uh, out down from the sky with freezing rain and a sleet uh, mixture here, at least in the West Virginia Panhandle up through uh, Maryland into south central Pennsylvania. A very heavy band of snow continues to lift north through Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, dumping one to two inch per hour snowfall rates. And then we have the pivot, the wraparound. There's a lot of banding right now uh, that is in a, into western Pennsylvania. That banding is going to pivot through central and northeastern Pennsylvania late tonight through early tomorrow into central New York as well. It looks like New York City is probably going to change over to a mix of precipitation, which should hold down snowfall totals right along the immediate coastline. But someone's going to get hammered right around there, maybe just a little bit inland, maybe the higher terrain over northern New Jersey. But I do think that the bullseye is going to be across the mountains of northeastern Pennsylvania, the Poconos, uh, toward Hunter Mountain. New York, southern New York there, central New York, just well north of the I-95 corridor as it appears that the NAM was spot on with that northern shift of the track of this nor'easter. There was a tornado warning down in the Tampa area, confirmed a tornado landfalling water spout down there. That's way down into the southern mode. There also was a tornado warning earlier in the North Carolina Outer Banks that didn't materialize into a tornado. But all this is part of this very dynamic nor'easter. It's gonna move off the Delmarva Peninsula and then make a turn to the east-northeast, just to the south of Long Island, possibly deepening into the mid 990s and uh, it's likely going to have some banding on the north side of that as well. But I do believe someone in northeastern Pennsylvania there into central New York is going to end up with close to two feet of snow when it's all said and done. 